Hey guys, I am Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AA Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we are going to see how to do. We are going to see and practically implement how to read files such as CSV file, JSON file, YAML file, SQL file, text file and Excel file which is present in Google Cloud Storage bucket using Python. And to do this, we will be installing this package, particular package, pip install Google Cloud Storage. So um, this video is fully practical uh, and sounds only. So without any further delay, let's get started. So to do this, I'll be going into my uh, Google Cloud platform. I opened my Cloud Shell uh, editor. So inside I have created three files, GCS read CSV file, JSON file and other files. First, we will see what is GCS read JSON file. I'm just uh, importing these two, three packages, JSON storage and Google.authentication. Google.authentication is that thing but to authenticate our uh, credentials inside this project, inside this learn GCP and PDE. So this, this is a custom function. You can reuse the same custom function in your use case, in your project as well. So first, uh, storage.client, client.get bucket and get blob. So since this, we are reading it directly our JSON file. So json.loads blob.download as a string. So um, I have created some custom files. So sample.json and sample.txt, sample.yaml, earthquakes.csv and inside this cloud SQL, I have placed this table underscore creation.sql file. Now we will see all those things, how to execute it. So first, um, I'll, I'm into this, yeah, I'm into this particular folder, learn GCP and PDE. Now I wanted to execute Python 3 GCS read hyphen JSON. So this is my JSON file. And if you wanted to print the particular name, so I have printed first name. So first name is Joe. Similarly, if you wanted to print phone numbers also, you can keep it here. I'm just executing the same command python 3 gif so type phone home number is this the entire object is it is displaying it the, the phone number as a key and this as an array this list as an uh, um, value so the next thing is we will see how to read csv file so to do to import uh, to read csv file from uh, um, from Google Cloud Storage, you have to use uh, a package called Pandas. And uh, if it is in PySpark, you can use Spark.dataframe also. So uh, before that, you have to install Google.cloud and make sure this version is present. And you have to install GCS, FS, and Pandas package. And make sure FS, uh, FWS PEC package is also get installed. To do this, we will be uh, to read data to read csv file from gcs bucket we have to make sure all this package has been pre-installed it i have already installed it so now i am creating a directive fetching this file like get csv like pd.js bucket name file name and the encoding will be utf8 so if it is excel file we if you are familiar with pandas we will be able to do this pd.read underscore excel the same way you can read pd dot read underscore json as well so whatever we are able to do it in pandas we will be able to do it here as well so now i'll execute this file python 3 gcs so this is earthquakes.csv and i have uh, read first five packet like source time latitude longitude so the same way you can do it for excel the same way you can do it for json other different sql file all those files as well so the next thing is we will be writing different we'll be reading different other files like yaml file uh, text file dot sql file all those things we will be seeing here and on specific case i have placed the sql file inside a particular folder and i'll show you how to read that as well so the first thing is we will be the same thing every code is same only i've just included this asset block that exists and i have added necessary why i'm using this so you can take a look at it as well so python 3 gcs read other files so if you see i'm just uh, reading my sample text and this is a demo file so now i'll show you how to read dot sql file Yeah, 
yeah this is my create database if not exist this is my dot sql file as well and i'll now i'll show you how to read saml file this dot sql file is present inside of particular folder cloud sql inside particular folder i have placed this dot sql file similar wise you can read it for sample yaml file as well and you can get the results also here so project id gcp project project id project name project owner this slash n is nothing but it is in the next line so this everything is in the form of customizable code um, in your project or you can reuse the same code you have to just take the code and uh, paste it in your file and run it that's it like everything is uh, customized the code and that's it for today's video i hope you learn something new from this video and i think this video will be more informative when you're reading uh, files from different files from cloud storage uh, gcp cloud storage into your python cloud shell editor and other ides so if you have any doubts any questions please post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply as soon as possible please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon I'll meet you in the next video with interesting content from GCP. Until then, it's bye from Vignesh. Happy learning.